Hey, what's up everybody? So I'm a little off-center here. Um, I just wanted to upload uh, my review of Hertz car sales. Um, so I'm currently driving a 2017 Kia Sedona that I just purchased from Hertz for about oh, close to $4,000 under the Blue Book value. Um, and yes, I'm almost 30 and I'm driving a minivan because I have one kid and more planned on the way and we're trying to future proof. Um, but I just want to kind of talk about the experience. I know a lot, of, when I was researching it, I saw a lot of questions that people had um, and kind of different things. So I just kind of want to go through what my experience was. Um, so I'm currently driving, um, I live in Arizona. I found this vehicle um, in Pasadena. So I flew from Phoenix to Burbank, California this morning. Um, and took everything, got everything, and I'm driving it back to Arizona um, just because I found that it was cheaper there, um, just for whatever reason. So, a couple things. The first thing is that people will always say, like, I would never want to get a rental car because, like, people drive rental cars in the ground. And so, I would counter that. And the more I thought about this, and I learned a few things in the process. One, I I mean, personally, and everybody I know, when I am in a rental car, I'm extra careful because I do not want to be held liable for all of the charges related to a car that's not mine and deal with all of like the legal and insurance things. So I drive, actually drive more carefully. Two, I'm not purchasing like a Corvette or something that's going to be rented by someone, you know, going out trying to have a great time for their bachelor party. Like I'm driving a minivan. People who typically rent minivans are going to be, you know, with a family um, or a group of people. And, you know, they're generally going to be driving more safely or conservatively. Three, you'd be surprised that most of the, um, like if you go on carguru.com or I'm not sure if Auto Trader has this, but if you go on carguru.com, um, if you put in whatever vehicle you want, you can look up um, one of the filters on the side if you're looking at a used vehicle is that you can filter out all of the cars that were part of a rental or fleet service. And so the, um, and when I was looking at the Kia Sedonas, I noticed that all in the Phoenix Metro, all but one used car that was being sold by a dealership was a previous lease or, or part of a fleet or a rental. So, and I learned through this process that the number one buyer from Hertz for cars is actually CarMax. So basically CarMax's whole model is to buy cars coming off their rental, mark them up and flip them. So with Hertz car sales, you are basically doing the exact same thing. Um, or you are buying them at pretty close to like closer to what the price that CarMax is without their markup. So it's basically buying it at wholesale. Um, the other thing is, you know, if, so if you're buying from a dealership, it doesn't matter whether you're buying straight from Hertz or from, you know, if it's a certified pre-owned from whatever your local dealership is, it probably started at a rental company before it got to that dealer. And the other thing is, if it's a private owner, you don't know how they drove. So it's just as likely that somebody drove it really hard, even if they say, oh, I, it's all original miles, I'm the only owner, I took good care of it. You don't really know that. With Hertz, it's like, there's probably a mix of the miles that it had, but I know and can guarantee that it got all of the routine maintenance. Plus, if you buy from a private owner, it's gonna be as is, and usually from a regular dealer, it's as is, but Hertz certified pre-owned, I have the remainder of the factory warranty um, on the vehicle, as well as every Hertz certified pre-owned vehicle comes with a 12 month, 12,000 mile um, powertrain warranty. So anything with your engine or your transmission that goes wrong, it's gonna be covered. Um, so you don't, like I have that peace of mind that I would not get bought going at a private sale. Um, so the actual experience of um, the actual experience of purchasing the vehicle, it's kind of like shopping on Amazon. Um, you know, you just go on to HertzCarSales.com, and you can put in your zip code, and you know, then you can see like what makes and models are available, or you can search. So I was tracking um, these Sedonas in the Phoenix area, and on a whim earlier this week, I decided to look at, um, I just expanded the range to everything within, 
500 miles because I thought, you know what, I can fly to LA, San Diego, or Las Vegas, or even, and then I even checked in Salt Lake City and Albuquerque as well, just because I was like, I'm willing, you know, if I can find a better deal, I am willing to, um, I'm willing to do that. So I looked, um, all of the Sedonas in Southern California had just gotten marked down. Um, so they ended up being listed for about $1,700 starting at about $1,700 cheaper than the Sedonas in Arizona. Um, so it was well worth my time to buy the, you know, $200 plane ticket, um, to come out here the, today and take care of it. So when you go online, if you are applying for financing, um, you can go online and, you know, it's kind of like you find the car you want, you type in your information, um, you know, put which financing you want, and then it's going to be really easy because you will just, you know, take that and, uh, you know, you can schedule the test drive for the car. And when you're looking at it, it's, they have a no haggle price. So it's like, there is, their price is very, like it's, it will tell you the blue book value, um, what their price is, what the difference is. And then you can see, um, you can see exactly like that you're getting a good deal. And so they do not argue on that. And so it was really nice because there was no back and forth. There was no pushing. It was just, Hey, I want one of these cars. I showed up, they had four on the lot. I picked which one I wanted. Then they started the paperwork and that was it. So I was at the Pasadena location. Um, everybody was very helpful because there was some issues with the paperwork because California has strange regulations and what dealers need to do and they have to find an obscure form for dealing with um, me living and taking it out of state immediately so that added to the time um, but other than that it was very straightforward and it worked like any other dealership um, you know they did offer me some prepaid plans I said I'm not interested um, and that was that they weren't pushy at all I there was no back and forth there's no trying to upsell you on a different one that has a better trim whatever because they're all standard so they're pretty much standard across the board so if you say you want XYZ model they're only gonna have the same trim of that because they're all on a fleet so there's no upsells there's no anything like that um, so the price is just agreed upon you know they printed out the sheet said this is what it is here's your you know your 12,000 mile warranty you can add on to it if you want to I said no um, a couple things of note, different states have, um, they still do a dealer dock fee. So by law in California, it was cheaper. And so the dealer dock fee was like $375 cheaper in California than it was in Arizona. Um, and when you go on the website in the upper right hand corner where it says the blue book price and the regular price or in the sale price and what the difference is, um, it it'll say the final price and there'll be a little like I next to it that you can hover over and it will tell you what the dealer dock fee is for that so the only fees on it um, were like just the sales tax and then the dealer dock fee that it told me so I knew exactly um, what my out-the-door price was going to be before I even showed up which was very nice um, they do not there are discounts out there available um, there are there is a code floating around that's HCS loyal um, and that is for it's supposed to be for rental customers that have like accrued so many nights or whatever or days of rental so they require proof that you got that offer sent to you for them to accept it so even though the code is floating around for $350 off they won't take it but there is a $325 discount for joining AAA um, so through Geico I already had roadside assistance and everything that AAA offers but I signed up and paid $50 for the most basic AAA membership and showed them a screenshot of the temporary card that it gave me and they took a copy of that screenshot and dropped another $325 off the price um, and so that was super easy to do. They, um, So yeah like I said you show up you know you can trust drive they don't have very many high-end things but they do have some like they do have SUVs whatever but it's usually it's going to be the basic trim it won't be the lowest budget trim but it'll be the whatever kind of the middle of the road trim that they offer is what they have in most of the cars um, they are you know there may be some scratch and dents um, but basically what your car you know kind of what a normal used car would look like so it's not it's not gonna be pristine like a new car but um, you know everything is fully certified it's a certified um, well, there's two programs so there's a certified Hertz certified um, which means they took it out of the rental fleet 
they put it through a 150 point inspection they made any repairs so I got the list of the repairs that were made so I got you know saw they changed the oil they did a new emissions test um, they buffed out all of they buffed out the scratches and they painted the bumpers um, just from all the dings on the front and rear bumper um, and so that was so that was taken care of so I knew and then I could see the full log of the history like you know that it had um, you know I knew that it had gotten all of the regular routine maintenance um, at the regular needed intervals because it was maintained as part of a fleet. So the second option for purchasing is called the rent to buy and what that is is you will see on the site when a car becomes available and that means that it is booked out to that day so it may so even though it may say like it's going to be ready on March 20th you know if the person extends their rental another day it may not be ready till the 21st or the 22nd but with the rent to buy program you rent the car so it's not certified um, to where it has the full inspection already done um, and it doesn't have the 12,000 mile warranty the rent to buy or it may I'm not sure about that so double check on the 12,000 mile warranty but the rent to buy usually has lower miles a little bit and with the um, what you'll do is you will rent it for like three days and you will get a so you get a tie a trial run for three days to really test drive it um, really decide if you want the vehicle or not and then once you make the decide you want it if well if you decide you want it the um, you are completely refunded all of the rental charges and if you decide you don't want it then you just have to pay whatever the daily rate for the rental was so basically you know for 75 bucks you can try it for three days and if you decide you don't want it then you know you can put it back so if you're doing that you know I would recommend like find you know go on a test drive at another um, go on a test drive like at a regular dealership or something so that way you know okay I want this then get the three days depending on the rentals sometimes apparently you can do all of the paperwork at home and don't have to do anything and you can just keep the car other times you may have to go back um, into the dealership and from what I read sometimes you may have to pick it up at one rental lot but then the sales location is at a different location so you have to take it there and that's where you actually need to finalize the deal if you need to go back in person um, but once um, once you get everything taken care of, um, you know, you're on your way. I, like I said, I feel, you know, I don't feel any different about purchasing this than I would at purchasing at CarMax, a certified pre-owned at any dealership, or a, you know, buying from a private owner um, because I have full service records and it was already checked by a mechanic. Um, you're obviously still able to take it to an independent mechanic if you want to do that. Um, but overall, I, I got a, after, you know, overall, considering that I was able to get the car for close about $4,000 or $3,500, $4,000 under the Kelly Blue Book price, I am ecstatic and I, you know, I'm excited that it was such an easy experience. Um, you know, the paperwork could have gone faster, but that's going to happen at any dealership. Um, but they, you know, I would highly recommend looking at Hertz, um, knowing now, especially having gone through the experience, this will be the first place I look next time I buy another vehicle. And also knowing now that, you know, it's most of the cars that you see, used cars that you see out there, especially, you know, if you're looking in the what would be like 15 to 30 range new of new vehicles like your standard like a Toyota Camry or Corolla or a Mazda 3 or CX-5 like those basic run-of-the-mill cars um, middle-class cars you know those almost always are going to be coming off a of rental so it's whether you think you're avoiding purchasing a fleet vehicle it probably was before so if you can get it straight from the source then that is a great option to do and they occasionally um, you know they do are you know they are worried about or maintaining their brand and so they part of this is wanting to get you in and renting from Hertz on the rental side in the future um, so they of their vehicles um, they don't anything that has had body damage 
or significant body damage or needed significant repairs, that's what they send to the auction and they keep the best vehicles out of the fleet for them to sell because they don't want to, you know, sour your future relationship for all rentals. Um, but overall, like I said, I would definitely recommend it. Um, if you can find the vehicle you want, I would again suggest to expand your reach or your search to see if, you know, some of wider out locations may have more options or for whatever reason it may just be cheaper so they um, their formula for pricing is dependent on their depreciation of the rental cost so there may be some that are in better condition have fewer miles um, and have been rented for fewer like nights but they and those are cheaper than other ones that are older have a few, are a little bit more dinged up and have a bit higher miles so there are that is their formula thing. It's not strictly, oh, there's this model, has this many miles, pull it out. So part of it depends on how many nights it's been rented and all that. And so they have this big formula. Um, and so they just set the price. And we were lucky that these had been sitting on the lot for a while. They're about to get new ones in. So they had just you know done a price cut across the board for them. And I was able to get a great deal uh, on it. And so far, you know, we're very happy with the purchase and I, glad that I have the peace of mind of knowing that I have that 12,000 mile warranty should any serious mechanical issues go wrong in the next 12 months, um, you know, which I will notice it by then, um, most likely. So, um, leave, I mean, if you have any other questions, feel free to comment and I will respond to them. I don't run this as like a YouTube channel, but I know I looked on YouTube for reviews of Hertz car sales. And so I just wanted to add mine to the list. Um, but it was a great experience and thank you to Willie and Estrella um, at the Pasadena location. They were very helpful and you know they were going and calling different locations um, to try to find the right forms and getting everything that they needed to deal with me living out of state. And so they were very, very helpful and really bent over backwards for me to make it easy. Um, one last thing is, is first come first serve um, and they do not hold any cars. So even if you do have a test drive scheduled, that car if you schedule it two weeks out there's a very good chance that, that car is gone um, so when I found the car I call I found the car on Thursday morning I called them on Thursday night spoke to them about how it could work I asked if they could do a transfer to Phoenix they don't do that um, then I researched it more I went to a dealership on Friday um, near my house to test drive it and then now it is Saturday and so Friday last night I booked a ticket for the first thing this morning to get out here um, and they had because they had four of the model that I wanted I wanted to be here first thing so I could have my pick of the four and we were on my way um, so again yeah leave any comments if you have any questions otherwise I would say um, that it you know it was a very good as far as car buying experiences go it was a great it was a good experience went as well as it could have and I'm very happy with the deal that I got and would recommend it to anybody.